day, everybody. This is Chris with the uh, Ancient Scholar. I hope this video finds you all doing well. Uh, this is the day after Thanksgiving that I'm making this video. It's going to be a quick update on something that we all love to hear about, and of course is COVID-19. Just want to do a quick update on some of the news uh, surrounding uh, the emergence of a new variant of concern, or VOC. And this is the uh, B11529 variant also known as the Omicron variant. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of information that I can say about this uh, particular variant of SARS-CoV-2 because we don't have a whole lot of information. Uh, it's all speculative for the most part. Um, so let's talk about what the major concerns potentially surrounding this variant are. And, uh, at this point, biggest concerns are that this is the most mutated variant uh, that we have ever seen of SARS-CoV-2. Uh, there are at least uh, 30, 32 different uh, mutations in the spike protein alone. Uh, so it's highly mutated, uh, which means that it could have very different properties from the dominant variant, the uh, Delta variant. Some very, just a very cursory look at the data suggests that it might potentially be outcompeting Delta variant in South Africa. I don't know that I could uh, say that with any any uh, high level of confidence, however. Um, so the, the timeline, again, is very, very short. Uh, this was first discovered in, uh, I believe, Botswana. A patient in Botswana uh, was first sequenced in. Uh, 9 November uh, 2021, so uh, you know, not only, not two weeks ago, uh, South Africa, the government of South Africa um, essentially uh, uh, contacted the World Health Organization uh, with their concerns about this emerging variant um, uh, the day before Thanksgiving, uh, 24 November 2021. World Health Organization is currently having a series of meetings about this particular variant. That's really all the solid information I have to say. Everything else would be highly speculative. And really all I can say at this point, I think, is, is, is we don't know what the implications are. There is some very, very early limited data suggesting that it might possibly be outcompeting uh, Delta as far as in, in infectiousness. Uh, we have no idea uh, what the uh, potential for escape uh, from vaccine, uh, vaccine immunity and from uh, immunity from prior infection. Uh, we have no idea if that's going to be a concern and, and it don't have, really have any idea as to um, if this is more virulent um, in, in that it's going to cause higher levels of morbidity and mortality compared to Delta. Uh, there just isn't enough information currently available. Uh, so I wish I had uh, I wish I had more robust uh, data, but uh, I don't you know I don't want to be uh, flippant and I certainly don't want to be hyperbolic. Uh, and all I can say at this point is uh, it, it's a, it is the most mutated variant of SARS-CoV-2 we've ever seen. And that may or may not have uh, implications uh, as far as the current pandemic. And it may or may not have clinical implications as far as uh, treatment and immunity. Uh, we just don't know. So at this point, I think it's best to uh, try to prevent ourselves from getting uh, too wrapped up and, uh, from developing too many uh, hypotheses and pontificating and just await uh, the arrival of better data so we can get a better understanding of uh, what may be going on here. So it's something to watch out for. And that's really all I have as far as uh, news, the new news regarding SARS-CoV-2. I hope you all had a, a great Thanksgiving if you uh, celebrated it, and uh, we will see you in uh, 
subsequent videos. Take care, everybody.